In the last video, I showed you how to create a button and how to change the up, down, and over features of that button, and then how to preview it in your canvas. Um, now I'm going to show you how you would add several buttons, creating a menu or a navigation bar. You want to make sure you are in your original view, and you also want to pull up your library. It's in the Assets uh, panel. If you don't have it already open, you can go to Window, Library, and that will bring it up. You see over here your button has already been added to the library, and right now it's just called Button. I can double click this and change it to be something different. I could call it, um, I'm going to call it My Black Button. If you're using more than one type of button, this might be helpful. If I want to create a navigation bar, all I have to do is drag over several of these buttons, and they should almost click into place. It really doesn't even matter where you place them. Okay, so I've dragged four buttons over, and um, if I want to align these in some type of order, all I need to do, do is go to Window, Align, and then I can choose how I want them to be aligned. I'm just going to try to align them over on my left-hand side. So I'll select all of them by holding down the Shift key and align them over on the left. And I want to distribute them evenly. So now I have a navigation bar with four different buttons. The problem is they're all called click here and I want to change the name of these buttons. If I click on my second button and go down to the bottom, I can change that text right from my property window. Uh, the first one says click here, um, the second one I'm going to say buy this. And you can see it automatically changes. Uh, third one I'll say look here. And the fourth I'll just say more info. It's very easy to change the text down on your properties menu. Now you can also add alternate text and that would be the text that shows up as your mouse rolls over that area. So alternate text for click here. Um, it's pretty obvious because we've added text to our button, but it might not always be. I can have it say click here to find out more. Uh, buy this if you want to. So you can make a description of what this button says when I preview it, no, I think you'd actually have to publish it to see it, but that's the text that would show up in your web browser. Now this is also the area where you would add your links when we actually bring this into Dreamweaver. Um, I actually think it's easier to do after you put the image into Dreamweaver, but we can talk about that later. If you want to change anything about the original image, you just double click and it brings up the button. Um, let's say I want to change the button. Um, right now it's black. Maybe I want to change it to um, a bright green color. I just change one button, hit done, and they all change to bright green as I can see in the preview. I don't actually want to do that, so I'm going to go back and uh, keep it that way. All right, I'm going to show you another way you can create a button. I'm just going to start new, fresh canvas here. Um, you can also make a symbol into a button. So I'm just going to make a star. Uh, 
relax. And now it's white, so it's not showing up. I'll make this a little smaller. And it just says my star. I can actually make this into a button. If I want to select my star and the text that says my star and I'm going to go to modify symbol convert to symbol and it'll ask me what I want to make this into and I'll say I want to make it a button and I'm going to name it star button click OK and what I have now if I preview it is a button that I can click on that says my star. Now right now if I roll over the image you'll see it's completely blank. That's because I still need to edit this. So I go back into original, double click, that brings up my button editor, click over, copy up graphic, now maybe I want to change my star to be a different color when I roll over it. Now when I preview you can see it's green and I roll over and it turns blue. Okay, So it's not just, um, it, it can be any kind of object. It doesn't have to be a simple shape. Absolutely anything be, can be created into a button by just going to modify, symbol, convert to symbol, and then you turn it into a button.